Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dakota, and I've been thinking about, like, the last uh, few years, you know, in America, it's like insanity or mass stupidity has infected modern society, and and it's not just me that see this. But it's like, they think we're stupid. They think we're morons. They think we're idiotic. They think we're children. And and it's just like, they're like, say things or do things that aren't really a part of decent human values. And it's kind of, how could I say it? It's like people are, look at the news or TV, this political party did this or said this or or they do this and do that. And it's just like to the average person on the street, you know, they don't think they're going to notice, but it's like, People with the eyes and ears can tell what's going on. And it's just like, oh, my God. I mean, are, are you that, you know, uh, low IQ'd to where you have to say that or if you have to do that? And some of the things I've seen, you know, it's just it made me shake my head like, oh, my God. I can't believe they said that or I can't believe they did that. And it's like they they don't hide it. They just let it be out in the open. And it just makes you wonder, like, are they literally thinking we're going to allow this? And it's kind of like, you know, the devil controls you know, metaphorically, not literally, but it's just like all of the stupidity that they've been bringing out in society. And it's like, you know, act, trying to make it act like it's normal. And in reality, it isn't. And it just, I mean, it's kind of funny and sad at the same time that, you know, they don't care that their insanity is just spewing out on the world for everyone to see. And it's, I mean, I can't believe they allow that. You know, no, no, you know, fancy speeches, no this, no that. But just coming out blatantly and just saying the weirdest things that are funny and crazy. And it's just like, they wonder why, you know, people don't uh, care for this group anymore. It's just because, you know, they're not hiding their true insanity. You know, there's a group, uh, they made a song called Choices. And in one of the verses, they stated that, you know, uh, it's about politicians, uh, no group in particular, but they are perfectly insane. And I would say, yes, career uh, politicians can have the potential of being totally insane and acting like nothing's going on. Or they try to do the same thing and... And I don't know, it's just, it's kind of weird and funny at the same time. And I just can't believe that they want people to see them as the way they are. Or these cities that, you know, <sighs> that allow stupidity to enter into their a judicial system, you know, where you can uh, shoplift or and get away with it. You can squat 
and pretty much get away with it. You know, it's like, to us normal thinking people, we're like, uh, why would you want to live in a city like that? Why would you want to live in a state like that, you know? And one state has had such an influx of people leaving that they're trying to make a law saying you got to pay an exit tax or you have to pay taxes even though you don't live in that state. And, you know, it's a gorgeous state. And it, it just was... I don't know what happened to it, but it just got beat with the stu stupid stick, you know? And I can't believe that, you know, people allowed that. So it's just kind of, you know, folks, where is your line in the sand with this stupidity? You know, it's... For me, it's kind of entertaining, entertaining and sad because it's just like they're not doing anything for the American people. They're doing it for other people, not in America. And that's where, you know, people are getting frustrated, you know, and, you know, that's not how... We live in the United States of America. We like to help each other, our fellow countrymen, not give it to, you know, you know, entities or groups outside of it or give it to people not from here, you know. And it's just kind of frustrating for us living here because it's just, it's not the American way. I mean, there's a natural way to become an American citizen. But what's going on is goes beyond just, you know, mass immigration. You know, it's done by design. And, you know, people are waking up to what it is, you know. So it's just kind of wake up, folks, because... You know, this next election, you know, are we going to have America or are we going to have the death of America, you know? And that's what's at stake is the American values, beliefs, and everything going forward or are we going to become a state that is going to just crash in and implode on themselves. But people are starting to see the truth. And, you know, the truth will set us free. Truth will guide us. A lies won't. You know, no matter how many times you try to beat us with just lunacy, you know, it, it makes people turn off from that. They don't want insane policies. They want the way it used to be and not just what they want it to be or want it to become. You know, it's just like they're creating racism again to hold us back. And, you know, we're, we're all the same. It's like we have the same colored blood. We're the same spiritually. And they're trying to d divide us. And that's what they feared the most. Is they fear us uniting. uniting. You know, that's why they fear the current uh, running mate. You know, you know, it's like Democrats and liberals fear Trump. And everyone supporting Trump fear the other side of the aisle and but it's you know who knows what's going to happen this election or afterwards because like Elon Musk stated this may or may not be the last election he didn't say it word verbatim but that's you know essentially 
what he said and it's just kind of he's right and so it's just kind of people that are from here they want you know trump to win because he represents the american dream he represents the american uh politics or you know just the normal things america does you know and so it's just it's going to be an interesting time uh after the election and so i want to thank everyone for watching this video and because it's just kind of we're at a crossroads with freedom in america you know one group wants to enslave us one group wants us to maintain how American America is and was and continue. And people want that. They don't want, you know, all this crazy insanity becoming law if they get their way. So, so yeah, it's just... We got to use what we believe is right in our heart and in our mind and in our gut. We got to vote with our gut, heart, and soul because it's more than just if this person gets in power or that person gets in power. It's the American way of life. And so, so yeah, it's just kind of a lot on the line. You know, it's like Americans, we're drawing our line in the sand, saying no more to this insanity. And so, so yeah. Well, anyways, I want to wrap this video up. And uh, what I had was uh, Axial. It's an energy drink, uh, dragon fruit. And uh, it's a product, it's... My my energy drink, pretty much, because er energy drinks aren't good for you, and Axio is because you just put in regular water, and it's an all-natural uh, product. So, it yeah, it, it helps you focus. It's good if you're studying, exercising, and, and whatnot. And uh, I'm also uh, activating myself because I'm taking the uh, Pro Tandem, which activates your body's antioxidant uh, production. So you don't have to like eat 10 tons of uh, uh, blueberries to get, you know, just a wee bit of antioxidants. You know, this activates your uh, immune system or antioxidant production. And it's an all natural uh, product that's started by with uh, Dr. Joseph Bacord. And we got other products that uh, have tremendous health benefits. And uh, I am also starting a weight loss journey. Uh, we have a, a, a JLP-1, it's a hormone in your gut and it helps you uh, lose weight. And I just ordered some and I'm just waiting for it in the mail, but, but yeah, no, I'm going to leave a link for Axial and that Pro Tandem and this uh, new uh, J JLP1 uh, product. I'll leave a link for that too, as well in the link. And, uh, and yeah, well, this is Mr. Dakota. Uh, I was trying to not say, you know, uh, when I was speaking, because the last video I did, someone commented, um, that is said, you know, 52 times, you know, I'm guilty, but I try to keep it on the DL or not as much, but you know, I can't, it, it happens. It's life. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect, but we try to do our best. Well, anyways, thank you and have a great evening and stay classy, my friends until next time.